Father. Good evening, Holy Father. Our family is the greatest joy and greatest gift that the Lord gave us. There have been good times and less good times, grace, darkness, this is but Roberto and Maria and Salma Corbella, parents of Chiara. The Lord committed first on the day when we say yes to each other. From that yes, many other have followed. He called us to take on the task of parents of two beautiful daughters, Elisa and Chiara. Our life has uh, passed uh, uh, in peace of mind, serenity, and daily commitment, facing the challenges of each day, trying to pass on to our daughters our faith, our values, as every good family tries to do. Day after day, day in, day out, with God's help and everyone's commitment, we have built this fortress, because a family is a fortress if love is at the center. Elisa is married and mother of three lovely and lively children. She lives with a family in northern Italy where she uh, works. And she explained when I complain about this since that Lord called, called her to work there. Chiara has already won her battle, and on June 13, 2012, she returned to the father's house after a series of hard trials. Married to Enrico in 2008, Chiara uh, faces two pregnancies, both with the poor uh, diagnosis of severe malformation incompatible with life. Enrico Chiara choose to Welcome Maria Grazia Letizia and Davide Giovanni with love and at their birth, after baptizing them, return them to the Father. There is no link between the first and the second malformation, say the doctors, and no genetic problem either. Trusting and confiding in God, they open themselves to life again, and this time is a healthy son, Francesco, a true gift from God, who is now 11 years old. Chiara, however, after four months of pregnancy, discovers she has a tongue problem that will turn out to be a very aggressive cancer. She begins a whole medical journey in which, uh, wanting to preserve Francis' life, she tries to negotiate with doctors, treatments and operations. She undergoes an initial surgery and during pregnancy she postpones uh, all what could compromise uh, Francesco's life after his birth. The dragon, as she calls it, doesn't stop. Francesco was only one year old when Chiara leaves us after showing us how, in every situation, one can expect the utmost happiness in this life with God as a guide. Chiara's strength was uh, trusting and abandoning in God, who is a good father, and everything contributes to the good of those who love God. She made choices with joy and conviction, because, as she states during one of her testimonies, God puts the truth in each of us, and it's not possible to misunderstand it. Chiara was a very concrete person. She did not run away in the face of uh, life's trial. She faced them with her gaze heavenward. From the time when she was a child, uh, she always had a goal in her mind. Every step she made was directed towards a goal with God's help. And with Mary's guidance, she committed to reach it. With personal prayer that kept her in relationship with the Lord, from whom she received the grace that nourished her faith. Chiara was open minded. She respected others, but this didn't weaken her faith because she was always consistent. She was never, never arrogant, never imposing her ideas. She didn't impose them on others, but she promoted. Uh, ideas, especially by example, and she was always uh, 
humbly ready to acknowledge her mistakes. We found ourselves like Mary at the foot of the cross. We accepted without understanding. But Chiara's serenity of mind opened for us a window to eternity and continues to shed light on this. Still today, it was difficult for us to accompany her to the thread threshold of heaven and to let her go, but from that moment such a grace flowed that gave us a glimpse of God's plan and kept us from falling into despair. Her suffering bore many fruits and gave us the knowledge that we cannot follow Christ without embracing the cross. With great joy, in 2018, we witness the opening of the diocesan phase of the beatification process. And when God opens the door, no one closes it. And when God closes it, no one opens it. As family, we have seen the importance of educating our children, remembering that they are not ours and it's not a right to have children. They are first of all a gift and those who receive it must be aware that there are duties to accompany them till we can. Because as St. Francis said, and as Chiara wrote to her son, the contrary of life is possible. Session. That was Roberto and Maria Anselma Corbella, the parents of the servant of God, Chiara Corbella Petrillo.